utalia sana Kosa wako utalia sana Uikosa wako e eh, utalia sana baba So many women have become single Not by their choice but because of being forced by circumstances Men nowadays are running away from home Leaving behind their wives and children all by, them, all by themselves The question is who is to take care of them or who is to take their responsibilities and today in the house we have our audience and we have our guest who is Mr. Dennis, a law practitioner. Hello Mr. Dennis. Hi to you. Welcome to our show and Thank today, you, I do appreciate it. I'm humble. Yeah, I can see you look smart. Oh, thank you for that. I'm humble once more. <laughs> so today we'll be discussing about the deadbeat fathers. Indeed. And just to clarify what deadbeat fathers are, these are fathers who are not there when their children are being raised up, or Indeed. rather they do not support them in any way. So about the law, does the constitution give provision for child support? Well, uh, according to Article uh, 52, uh, it says that uh, a child has to receive both love and care from both their parents. So it's no negotiable. So the child must receive uh, care from, from both parents. And maybe to ask one of the questions, what are yeah. these some of the reasons that will make a man decide like, you know, I'm not support, supporting this child and I have to go, I have to leave. What do you think are some of the reasons that will make a man just go without supporting the child? And he knows right from the beginning this child belongs to him. Like you see, there are a couple of factors in which I'm going maybe to summarize and just mention a few. Because I can start, we can start with uh, the most common in which, for myself, I know is peer pressure. You find like a lot of the youth, they engage in such intimate behaviors, not maybe being sure of what can result uh, after that. So after getting that and after you get like the news that maybe your girlfriend has got pregnancy, you just get shocked and you just wonder, what did I just do? And you see, so that can be one of the reasons. And the first one, that's peer pressure. And the second one, uh, people are just getting into love, like carelessness. Carelessly. People are just getting engaged without further ado, without looking like your financial status. You can be able to raise like any kid who can result after this, after we engage into any intimate action. Mm. Yes. And uh, unfortunately, I came across a caption that said that some of the men think that they're helping they are women by, you know, supporting this kid, you think you're helping your woman or mm. the mother to clarify, you're helping the mother while educating this child. Do you think that, does this child belong to the mother only? And uh, you know you the child belongs to you both. What happens, what happens that the man thinks that he's supporting the mother? <laughs> uh, but the, that question like seems so funny and I think any man who can see that he's supporting the child, he should be even punished. You're not supporting. It is your responsibility. As long as it's your child. As long as this child is under the age of 18 years, that is your child. And it's your responsibility. The way that you took a heart maybe getting intimate and getting a child is the same, same way that you should take responsibility. You are a parent. You're not a father. You're not like a man, you are a parent, and it's your responsibility. And I think if we can hear, we have had such cases, by the way, mm -hmm. and the men maybe can explain what happened to them. You are taken to court and you are charged, and you are maybe uh, even jailed if you, in, in some other cases. So you are not helping, you are not supporting anything. It's your responsibility as a father to make sure that your child receives the, like, the basic needs, that's uh, food, shelter, and clothing. Mm -hmm. And of course, the fourth one, which is also mandatory, and that's education. Yeah, education. And maybe to ask you something, does the, the law require mm -hmm. a man to continue paying for his children's school fees if the ex-wife gets married again? OK, I, and thank you for specifying. You have said it's not come we stay mm -hmm. getting married. Yeah. So I think, no, the law doesn't require like the former maybe man or husband to take care of the, of the family. So this means that this is another family which has been started. So and the stepfather who has stepped up 
of the responsibilities should do that. So the other man maybe can be a free man. Let me mention that. Free man in quotes. So the other man should take the responsibility of being a dad. See, because take uh, this scenario. You just imagine uh, maybe uh, the, the, the mother has gone with the child like to the other father. And the, the biological father is the one like doing all things. So what will the stepfather being called a dad for? You see? So you must step up at the, like as the stepdad and do re the responsibilities. And the biological dad, through if you have divorced legally, he can be free. So, and it is said that it's not a must that a man goes or leaves the family because of maybe respect or something like that, but he can leave because he is broke. Does it m mean that he's running away from responsibilities? <coughs> Uh, let me say, uh, maybe I may provoke some of the people, but it's, it, they, they say in Swahili, like, it's So you as a man with the title M-A-N in the bold and capital letters, you should not get intimate with any girl knowing that your financial status is low. You should make sure that your financial status is may be capable of raising a child. And not only a child, you can maintain that child and you can maintain your wife. You see, because I, we do some, like, I, I'm a counselor too, and we do, like, solve some of the cases. And you get, like, the lady went to the man looking so beautiful. But, but after maybe one year, the lady looks like a mama from Ushago. And you're just wondering what happened. Kumpe, this guy gone, like, into a relationship, not being ready. You know, these men, let me say, men, we are in a lot of hurry. Ukisha maybe 20,000 to 30,000 a month, you see like umefika. And the next thing which you can do is to get married. No, compose yourself first and make sure your financial status, you are okay. And what do I mean by this one? You can maybe, uh, maybe build some, you know, uh, uh, you can have some flats where you're expecting like the money from. You can have some resources where you can exhaust your money from. And it can be able to satisfy yourself and your family very well without any reasonable doubt so what would you tell like those dads running away like there are those there are those children who don't need the support but they need so the meaning they already have the support they yeah, they, they have the support for themselves who are, who are able to help their children mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they need the love of a father oh, okay yeah so oh i've now gotten you so uh i think that case it mostly happens like in africa you know, in the African culture, most of the men, I can maybe I can mention maybe to pretend or they act like like they are. You know, we in Africa. Sorry, just to mention this, men pretend to be too mannish that they cannot show love. You see, even a man like saying to their son, sons of their daughters that I love you is an issue. But when you go like to the Western world, even even a girl is used to like her dad telling her like, you know what, I love you, my daughter. But when it comes to Africa, it's an issue. So I think, I think, yeah, that's an issue, by the way. So I think men should grow up. And the thing is that such people, uh, and uh, I was once into that case, such men, I think maybe they should be, like maybe a meeting should be held for them and they should be canceled. See, because you as a parent, you should show love to your child. You should maybe making regular calls, and showing some interest, not just pretending to be too mannish. Uh, actually, I came a, across a meme, these things, so-called memes of nowadays, and uh, someone was asking, when was the last time you hugged your father? Or when was even the last time your dad told you, like, my, my daughter or my, my, son. my son, you know what, I love you. When was the last time? And people commented, like, Never. For myself, even it's a never too. <laughs> yeah. So you've gone through the same. Yeah, as I've mentioned, I've gone through the same. But uh, just to mention this, just to add, I promised myself that I'll make I'll make my daughter my girlfriend. We are free with her. Yeah. That's yeah. Like we we embrace the Western culture. The Western culture, simply we, because. Yeah, which supports the child, father, or mother love. Indeed. And, and we were doing such kind of a research. Do you know the funny thing in Africa? This is where we take care of our, our growth a lot. But when, it, when we go to the Western world, it's so minimal. But the funny thing in Africa is where we have early pregnancies. Do you know why we pretend to be so harsh to our growth? We pretend to be so caring. 
and ile mayenye unachonga sana ndio huanguka we should talk to our growers make them free with us and trust me i think for myself as i said i can allow like my grow like that's my daughter to to have a boyfriend you see and 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 uh, just make her free with you and trust me this child will uh, will even be like 26 years she's never been pregnant but if you hash hey at him machali ni mwabaya sijui nini 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 that's when even they 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 and you kazia them let me say you kazia them because if you kazia them that little chance that they will get they'll do everything they can everything and that's where they may end up being drunk or pregnant or even getting hiv and aids and the problem with the african parents that is that they just say that machali ni wabaya mm. wabaya in what they don't tell they have them not the specified truth. Yeah. they don't tell them the truth like if you do this you're gonna get pregnant and then if the boy is not ready he's just gonna he will run away Indeed. and uh, and uh, just to ask you can you sue a deadbeat father um it depends like like i may give that question a 50 50. it depends on the situations yeah simply because maybe you even the maybe that let me just say maybe the mother herself can make like the husband to be a dead with father you know let me say there are some women like who want to be over possessive they are controlling like everything and obvious we as men we are superior even the bible even from the bible we say that and we, and we cannot maybe accept like uh, maybe a girl you are like or your woman trying to act more superior like you for that case and we listen and we follow up and we find out like is that case no but if it's other case like the man uh, a DNA has been done and it has been proven like the child uh, the child belongs to the man and he has refused to take any responsibility you know it's better you say okay i do accept that this child is mine lakini i don't have that financial capability of raising this child but ukikata and the dna says that this child is yours the action must be taken without no reasonable doubt. Well, we'll be going on a short commercial break and we have a lot lined up for you. And before that, you can join the conversation at our Facebook social media platform at Regina Wangoi, Instagram page at Regina Wangoi, and at YouTube, you can subscribe to our channel to get a lot more. Thank you. Over the last 17 years, NIBS Technical College has been offering approved diploma and certificate courses examined by various bodies. NIBS Technical College has got various courses like electric and electronic engineering. We've got modern workshops as well as trained lecturers with adequate knowledge and skills to help students in engineering courses. It is evident that currently a large number of individuals have vehicles that need servicing. Hence we offer automotive engineering also known as mechanical engineering to many. Payments are favorable to ensure all citizens can access quality training. NIBS Technical College, developing skills and competence. So welcome back and I've received a lot of feedbacks from our audience and I'm going to read from my Facebook page. Uh, someone called William the Artist is saying, I am Kawangoi from Tarindweku, Kirinyaga County, Jesus. <laughs> what is that name? Okay, he's asking what is happening because you find women nowadays at the head of entire home. What is the cause? So that's the first question. And somebody else called Elijah Karanja is saying, what are the consequences of deadbeat fathers? So you're going to ask answer that so maybe someone another question from John Nganga and he's saying hello this is John Nganga watching from Runyenges the show is late wow thank you John Nganga and I believe the issue about the intimate behavior should be addressed to both the lady and the man because they all agree to do it so to see blame a Charlie Peke that's a nice comment indeed yeah so you're gonna handle the first question first so it was saying like what is happening because you find women nowadays at the head of the entire home what is the cause uh well as i had mentioned there earlier some women want like they want to be over possessive they want to be like the kings you know i don't know maybe i can comment maybe there are these so popular cheating women like then the, the maju it's women who are saying because if you watch like 
most of them, even the, the Nigerian ones, they feel like the women are, are at the top. Mm -hmm. You see, but that is not the case. As long as, sorry? It's not applying in Kenya. It's not applying in Kenya. <laughs> and even, I can bet in the world, yes. men, they have to, uh, uh, not men, but vice versa, women, have to accept that they are subject to men even from, from the teachings of the story of creation, a, one of them is that women are subjects to men, and they should accept that. And that's why, though I know some of the audience maybe can, can, can maybe be provoked when I say this, that's why I was one of the people who was not supporting like, like the men and women should be equal, like equality among men and women cannot be there. So. Women have to accept that and they should be subjects. Because the more they want to be over possessive, the more unless you have, let me say, you have Chukua maybe Kamuti for that man. There's no man who can accept to be Kaliwa Chapati as the Saudi so say. So men, they, uh, rather the women have to accept that they have to be subjects to men. So and they, they don't have to compare their men with they don't other men because that is acting and this is real life. Indeed, and, and and just to elaborate to that question, that's what like a, according to the statistics, I, mean, I think it's last month. Most men are the like men had high death rates than women. Why? Simply because and this and we found out like seventy five percent is out of stress, stress from their women. Like what? Like he's uh, a woman has seen like the labor has CGTV in Chingapi, so women have to accept like their status. Happening because you find women nowadays at the head of their homes, and what is the cause? Well, uh, I can comment like women. Let me say like maybe. Oh, oh, okay. So sorry, let me see. <laughs> So I can say that uh, women maybe, and this is another case to me because, uh, as I mentioned, I'm a counselor too, and I can see like most of the women are being cheated maybe by the Western movies and the Nigerian movies. They want to act like them. The same way like they have started dressing like them, they want to act like them. Maybe in those movies they show like the women, they are slapping men, you see, like they're the head, like whatever they say, the, the men follow. That they should consider that as acting that is not real life and that is just maybe one of the reasons and the women should accept even from the uh, biblical uh, teaching about creation women should be subject to men there is no any even if the world like was to crack and end today there is no day like the man and the woman are going to be equal those are two different people yeah. even from the bible even from from the day of creation those are two different people and the and the time like the woman tries to maybe neglect or assume or not to abide to the rules or not to abide to what the man says there will be some like there, there will be some let me say some disagreement some commotion and there is no normal man that's but that's my own opinion as a maybe a law practitioner and a counselor there's no normal man can accept to be underrated or be equal to maybe his wife you see yeah yeah so another person is saying oh hi this is grace i've been married for three years now and the worst thing my husband is not supportive at all and i have three kids advise me so um though she's not maybe elaborated much more but i think maybe we're gonna contact her after this the thing is that i think the best thing that she should do she should maybe report this to the uh, relevant uh, uh, maybe offices for her to get assistance. As long as the man is their biological dad and maybe he's employed, he has a pay slip, he has salary, he should be at least, even if he's earning 10,000, it doesn't matter. At least the, like there should be some substitute for the child. Yeah, because yeah, when you're getting intimate, you are, you know, you cannot, uh, let me just put this easy. When you're taking an apple, you are sure of getting its maybe its taste and sweetness. The sweetness so in it. the sweetness in it. 
so when you're getting intimate you should and and that's like the sweetness is the consequence of taking that apple so the same way when you're getting intimate you should be ready for the consequence and if you should be ready to take the necessary responsibilities basic needs and of course education oh, thank you, you must and uh, so some somebody let me move to my instagram page and someone called zuena from kilifi is saying say hi to the guest he's really cool and he she's asking how about those children okay. who not only want the father support but the figure too they uh -huh, the figures in terms of uh they want the father with them okay so uh it depends you know this question has like different versions of answers simply because maybe there are some careers maybe let's say for instance i'm a doctor and i'm a pilot maybe i may not have that maybe adequate time for my child you see simply because it's it's a busy career let me mention that but if like you as a parent you should like your career is not that busy or your duty is not that busy at least you should create some time for your kid yeah. you know as i say like most of the parents but mostly men let me mention that don't look so possessive that like they don't want to spend time with their kids and i'm sure most of the most of the problems that our kids may be maybe emanate or go through we as parents if it's only like if we were only social with our kids some of the parent like some of the issues like peer pressure getting early pregnancy they could not be getting that but because we are we are we are ignoring that and saying that you know they say like the, our uh, parents are putting everything for Mualim, that Mualim yeah. will teach this child that life skills, everything, everything, and you're neglecting like your duty as a parent. Yes. And the time you neglect your duty as a parent is the time like the world tries to teach your daughter or son like what the world needs. And that, 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 like, that's why you end up like seeing a girl having like HDI, HIV and AIDS in pregnancy. So I think like we, parents, we should uh, like style up and maybe man up and woman up and let me give them like a good example. Let us try to be like the Western world, please. Let us try to be like the Western world, like where you make your son, your boy, your, your close best boyfriend, friend. yeah, and even your best friend, and you, you make your grow, maybe a sada, your girlfriend. And trust me, like, you, she will live a very good life. A good life. Indeed. And even she'll be open to you. She'll be open she'll to you. Be, you will be the first one who she will be running to, or he will be running to. to right? Yeah, the but first you person. Show them, like, uh, you, are, you are so busy. So busy, you're so busy all the time yeah. that's why they they're not and uh, that's why you'll like you'll see some of the some of the some of the maybe uh, some of the kids are taking sensitive initiatives without even consulting their parents do you know like we had a case like uh, maybe uh, uh, not maybe but a kid had gone to USA without even the concept of like of the of their parents and when she was asked, like, she said, like, the parents are not there. They're ever busy. Mm -hmm. How could I have time to tell them? Mm -hmm. So, you see, like, we should have that consent as parents and have time. Since simply because this will make, like, our kids to have maybe sensitive decisions, which may later be maybe of uh, danger to them without consulting us. And that is not their problem. That's our problem. We are too busy. Too busy looking for money in which that money may even be useless. But your child is always useful to yourself. So we have one comment, one last comment, and someone is saying, hello, this is John Nganga, watching from Runyenjes. The show is late. Thank you, John Nganga. I believe the issue about intimate behavior should be addressed to both the lady and the man because they all agree to do it. So to see blame, Machali Peke. Indeed, that's true. That's even, true. Yeah, even the women, they are, they are, they are, they are kuchangia something. They are, they are having something on that. <laughs> Let me mention that. <laughs> Yeah, when it's here too, but is he going? But there is this summer of usipofunzo na mama yako ama baba yako. Let me put it like that. Usipofunzo na mama yako ama baba yako utafunzo na ulimwengu. So these parents neglecting their child. Uh, the, uh, so you find these children becoming the thieves, the con men, the whatever, because they have no one to guide them. Indeed. Yeah. So that has been us with me, Regina Wangoi, and uh, this is my guest, Dennis, so we are so privileged to have you, and uh, we will sure to have you next time ah. when you have such a show. Anytime, I'm so humbled so to you. Thank you. So, and maybe to read some of your comments that you've sent me, 
uh, someone called Ati <laughs> Ronyanga Puruto. Way, way. The show is lit as a usual. What a nice topic. Big up, guys. Nikiwa Ushagona Gooks. Eh, Salimia Gooks sana. Kasarani tuned in. Kellen254, thank you. Say hi to my mom. Akio Eldoret is good from Machakos. Mama K, tume salimiwa. And I'm watching from Sydney. Eh, tume mukaboda. Say hi to fellow Kenyans. I believe the issue of cultural imperialism is the key behind. Kenyans should wake up and stop embracing Western culture. It's Sir John, the captain. Thank you, Sir John. Till next time, see you.